Hello class. So good afternoon. Um, for today we'll be, uh, we will continue with topic six. Uh, it will be about electromagnetic spectrum. And a lot of you are asked, oh, I mean, just looking at the title, it looks very difficult, right? Uh, but it's not. Um, you just need to remember some terms. Um, and then, because the thing is, electromagnetic spectrum, those different waves you actually use every day. When you use your phone, you're using waves. When you're looking at things, you're looking at you know, different light waves, right? Now, when you're using your remote control, you're using waves. When you're using your microwave, that's uh, that's another type of wave. Um, when you had this accident and you wanna you wanna double check whether your bones are broken or not, then you will use another wave, another form of wave. So, electromagnetic spectrum um, is is something that um, you know somehow you will be familiar you're familiar with because you've encountered them. Um, or every day actually so you you need to remember the name of the waves which ones have high or low frequencies and so we get we have different types of waves um, it depends on the frequency and I'm gonna tell you uh, what frequency is um, the order they fit into the electromagnetic spectrum so you have you have a range of different waves with different frequencies so it's it's like uh, you have 50 people with different heights right or 50 people with varying speeds so this one would be the fastest so this one would be the slowest and so on so like for waves um it is a spectrum because you have you have the waves put in in one horizontal line and somehow we try to determine which one has the highest frequency or the highest amount of energy so for today we'll be talking about waves and electromagnetic spectrum so before we start we talk, when we talk about waves okay one important thing about waves would be the frequency Frequency is a, is a number of wave that passes a certain point per second. So it's like, um, okay, so it's like this, right? So this is the point one. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So now here's the thing, Mr. Chris, that's very slow. So therefore, uh, you have less than one wave passing this point per second. But if the wave is, let's say, really fast, one, two, three, four, five, say it can be, so the frequency can be five per second. Okay, so you got that? So every, so frequency is the number of times a wave, a wave will pass a certain point, okay, per second. So the higher, the higher, obviously, the higher the frequency, the higher the number of waves passing a certain point per second. Now, what is a wavelength? A wavelength is like okay so a wavelength is like this oh you know what i have an illustration so a wavelength is like this um a wavelength is um where, uh, from crest to crest meaning from the highest point to the highest point or throw to throw from the lowest point to the lowest point okay um try to imagine it this way if you will connect if you will connect this part to this part here somehow the goal is you know eventually you will create a circle so one wave so from this point to this point is one wavelength from this point to this point okay so throw to throw the lowest point to the another lowest point will be one wavelength now what if i will be starting from here mr cruz and end here well then you will have two wavelengths because you have one from this point to this point is one this point to this point is two so you have two wavelengths okay so now um so try to relate. So if this is the point and then you have the wave, that's one wavelength, one wave, how many waves passes by, like passes by that point per given second will be your frequency. Okay. So this is the electromagnetic spectrum. So this is the spectrum. We have, um, YG, bib, bib. Um, so this will be the, we'll start with, so this will be, you will see the colors here. So colors of the rainbow, these are the colors that are actually visible to you. So are you saying, Mr. Cruz, that there are types of waves or kinds of waves that we can't see? And then the answer is yes. You can't see radio waves, but you can play your radio. You, can, you, can, you can't you can see microwave. All you see is the light inside, but it's not the microwave. You can't see the microwave, but somehow it heats your food, right? When you turn on your TV using an infrared remote control, you can't see the light going from from your remote going to the TV, but you still you still be able to control it. Um, so like looking at here, so you have ultraviolet light. You can't see the ultraviolet light, but it makes your skin tan, 
right? X-ray you can't see, but it can see through your bone, right? You can you can see your bones through it by using it. And then gamma ray, um, they use this for so gamma ray. It's um, it's it's a very powerful wave, light wave. Okay, it has a very high frequency, and um, so if if it passes a certain point really fast, then therefore the wavelength is really really short. Does that make sense? Because the longer the wavelength, the longer before it passes that point. Does that make sense? If you get that. Or you can just look at the illustration here. Okay, so um, and then the visible light is the it's see at, at this point here, that's the only time that you can see light and different colors. Okay, next. Okay, so how are they made? So gamma rays are given off by stars and some radioactive substances. So therefore, Mr. Cruz, will that will gamma ray be cancerous or can cause cancer? It is possible, and it is possible also to change your DNA. Um yeah, so they are extremely high frequency waves, carry a large amount of energy, and with that amount of energy, they can actually damage or cause harm. So they pass through materials and are quite difficult to stop. Okay, you need uh, lead or concrete in order to block them, block them out. So because gamma rays can kill living cells, they are used to kill cancer cells. So it's not all bad for gamma rays; they use it for uh, for medical purposes too. Um, I'll just breeze through this. Breeze through this. Uh, make sure you pause the video and then read the read the discussions here. Gamma rays are also used in hospitals. Now, the dangers of gamma rays: it can cause cell damage, can cause a variety of cancers. They can cause mutation in growing tissues. So babies should not be. So the pregnant mom should not be exposed to this. Well, no one should be exposed to this unless unless you're trying to kill the cancer cells inside your body. Okay. Next one is X-ray. So X-rays are very high frequency waves. So when we say very high frequency waves, it means that um, this wave will be passing through a certain point really fast. So therefore, the frequency is really high. Now think about this: if they if they will pass a certain point at that speed, if the frequency is really high, if you have humongous numbers of waves passing a certain point per second, then therefore the wavelength is really, really, really short. Does that make sense? Wavelength is really, 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 really short. Now, think of your smallest classmate. Okay? If you will ask them, okay, run as fast as you can and then pass a certain point. Now, your smallest classmates, your thinnest classmates, a lot of them will be able to pass that point quickly and then probably, probably maybe, maybe, let's say five of them will be able to pass by per second. Now, if you will ask Mr. Cruz, oh, Mr. Cruz, can you just pass by that point? You know, I'm probably you will only have one Mr. Cruz passing by that point per second. So imagine imagine the wavelengths. Imagine the waves this way too, right? So the, the smaller the wavelength, the faster they pass through a certain point, the higher the frequency. And then in the, if they pass through a certain point, then they can transfer huge amounts of energy. It's like this. The frequency is okay, low. So, you know, you have you have time to recover. This part of my hand will have time to recover. But if, if they're really fast, then eventually it's going to be painful because you're transferring huge amounts of energy in a very short amount of time. So there's no way for my hand to recover. I, I'm hoping you're getting this. If you have questions, just email me, please. Okay, so use of x-rays. Of, of x-rays, obviously, it's used for, um, you know, trying to uh, look at, like, bone structures, um, through patient into so basically they're using film and then when the x-ray hit the film it will it will create an image patches of the film where bones were in the way so you will see you will see the bones so and that's the thing right so if you have let's say if you have crack here then that will appear dark because you know it will not be reflected back so so that's the thing so sometimes a doctor will give a, a patient a barium meal which is a drink, barium sulfate. This will absorb x-rays, so the patient intestines will show up clearly on an x-ray image. So that's another way of checking, another application of x-rays. So x-rays can cause cell damage and cancer, and that's why, that's why um, you're, I think you're only allowed to have x-rays, I think, like two times in a year with six months interval or maybe three months interval, so maybe four times in a year, but not every week, obviously. Right? That's why when you go to the hospital, they, they, there's a sign there. If the light is on, 
then the x-ray is on right so you don't just enter there right um uv light um is made by special lamps and obviously coming from the sun too okay the ultraviolet is uh, it's it's called uv because it's it's ultraviolet light okay so uses um it, it is used to kill bacteria um so that's why that's why um for some for some like products they expose it to uv light in order to make sure that the bacteria bacteria is dead so anything that anything that will be used and and you know a, a potential source of bacteria maybe they will expose it to uv light um huge amounts can damage your retina and it can actually cause skin cancer too so um, huge amounts of uv light now again please pause the video read the discussion because i'm only allowed 10 to 15 minutes for discussion so how it's made um so visible light our eyes can detect them okay electromagnetic spectrum called uh, visible light so this means that there is a great deal happening around us that we're simply not aware of unless we have instruments to detect it so um so for other waves we can't detect them uh, but for visible light we can actually see them okay um white light is actually made of different lights and then somehow those lights are um so if you have white light it can be dispersed into different lights and that's why you have a rainbow so like in this case when when white light passes through this okay so the different the different um angles of the prism here actually created that separation between those those visible lights those different colored lights and that's why we have this okay so dangers um so too much too much light can damage retina of your eye this can happen when you look at um, something very bright and that's why your cell phone should be set on a lower um, lower brightness if you are using them for a very long time or try to remove the blue light because according to studies blue light are blue light um, is actually more damaging to your eyes so you need to be careful with that too okay um, infrared so infrared waves are just below visible red so uh, it's very close to visible light but you can't see it okay uh, you probably think infrared waves are as heat because they're given off uh, by hot objects and you can feel the warmth. So like when you're when you're grilling and then you're using coal and and you you feel the heat without you really that close to the source of heat, then that's that's the infrared. Um, and your body actually releases infrared too, and that's the reason why that is the reason why you know police can catch criminals you know hiding hiding in the forest or something or uh because somehow your your body will release that infrared and and night vision goggles can detect those infrared okay um yeah so remote controls okay um and and, and other and other devices right there's other other devices that uses that that you know um infrared light or wave okay so those are applications of of infrared so and the next one um Infrared can also be used for uh, weather forecasting, okay? Because they show cloud and rain patterns more clearly. The danger of too much infrared radiation is very simple. It makes you hot. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to change your DNA, but it makes you it makes you hot, okay? Next one, microwaves. Um, well, microwaves are basically extremely high-frequency radio waves and made of various types of transmitters. Um, so applications of this will be obviously your microwave oven. Um, your cell phone is actually using microwave, and that's the reason why when you're on the phone and you're you're talking for a very long time, somehow it feels like if it's very warm, it's because of microwave, because of the microwave. Um, in your phone. Now, there are a lot of studies they're saying, like a lot of studies are saying that they they can cause cancer. A lot of studies are saying that they they won't cause cancer. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's 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 about modulation right so try to lower the number or the amount of the amount of exposure so for this one instead of using your phone use a headset okay and uh microwave oven hacks um a uh, prolonged exposure to microwave can cause cataracts in your eyes so which is um clouding the cornea so it's like that white cloud on a person's eye um recent research indicates that Microwaves and more can affect parts of your brain too, so you need to be careful with that. Your current advice is to keep calls short or use um, headphones. Now, radio waves. Um, radio waves are made of various types of transmitter. Um, well, the beauty of radio waves is the wavelength is so long; 
it can cover long distances. Unlike microwaves, you need you need a lot of cell sites or cell towers in order to transmit transmit that um, that information. But for radio waves, they're so long they can travel longer distances. They are not as clear as microwaves, but they can travel longer distances. So that's the beauty of that's the beauty of that. So that's why there are areas where you can you can get radio signals, but you will not have you will not have um, like internet connection. Okay. So here are the uses. Um, yeah, just pause the video again. Don't have time to. Okay, large doses of radio waves are believed to cause cancer, leukemia, and other disorders. So, uh, so just be mindful of that. Right? Well, you when if you are living near next to like if you're living next to a radio tower then we need to be mindful of that now answer the following questions pause this and uh and see you again soon in the next video